Hey, what's up everybody? Elric Ferris here once again on the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. Today we're doing an unboxing of a cooler, something a little bit different. Today we're looking at the Polaris 120 from the people over at Swiftec. Now, Swiftec is known for their very high-end and kind of pricey coolers, but they're also known for having coolers that really kick ass over the competition. The Polaris 120 is no different other than the fact that it's going to hit the market at an affordable price. So right now, let's see what comes in the box. One thing to take note of is, is that the Polaris 120 will work with any socket that there is. Whether it's LGA 775, 1155, 1156, AM1, AM2, whatever it is, this thing will fit on it. So let's check out what comes in the box of this little thing. So, we got a little tab here in the back right here. Gonna pull the little tab open. I kind of ripped the box a little bit. Too much strength, I guess, there. I'm too manly for my own strength. Open the box up and ripped it, lads. So I'm gonna go to pop the little top here. On top here, we got first off a little box. We'll go ahead and open this up. This is probably all the brackets and accessory stuff. Yep, and then we'll go ahead and set that out on the table here. This is all the brackets and accessories that you're gonna need for mounting on different stuff. Comes with the clips. Even comes with thermal compound if you don't have any to put on your CPU before you put it in. Then we've got, of course, the old uh, Polaris heatsink user's manual. Got that all in there. Then once again, we have another little foam piece right here and the whole thing's gonna come out. All right, pull this on out of the copper thing there. Okay, so here is the Polaris 120. You can see that it has lots of heat fins all the way down. It also has copper inner tubing and it has a copper base surrounded by aluminum. Now what this does right here is all of these heat pipes right here that you see, all the heat from your CPO gets gathered up here, goes up through here and gets dissipated into these fins. For additional cooling you get a fan. The fan is mounted onto here and then the fan helps keep the additional cooling down. So this is the unboxing. We'll actually go ahead and mount this thing up on one of our new Intel P67 systems. So we're going to take the Polaris 120. We'll hook it up to, well, actually, you know what? I think I'll hook it up on my X58 and my P67 just so we can see what kind of results we're getting in a full review. But for today, this is everything that comes in the box of the new Swift Tech Polaris 120 heatsink and fan combo. Thanks for watching.